hello. <laughs> I have a big face. <laughs> I zoomed in on the clock because <laughs> I really like it whenever the time is like oh shit hold on a second I really like it when the time is um, like one two three four that's really cool or like one twenty three one two three or like two thirty four two three four I don't know why but I just think that's cool also I used to be a pothead and so I would like you know how a lot of people they smoke weed at 420 well like I'd find all different magical times to smoke weed <laughs> no I I realized that weed is weed and you know time is time and I mean time is an illusion anyway so it really doesn't matter what time it is it's still it's still the same time you know um, but I find it interesting though, the stuff that, that weed helped me figure out. Um, apparently, uh, marijuana has this effect on your brain where it just completely screws with your, your sense of time, which I actually think is a good thing. Um, mainly because like I have PTSD and so It's like, what people don't understand about cannabis is that there are certain things in relation to mental illness that it can really uh, make sense out of. But because the tendency to overindulge in that plant is so great, you know, and it is very, very addictive. I don't care what anybody says. Um, because that tendency is so great, you know, I feel like whatever medicinal properties the plant has are squandered um, because of drug addiction. And you're going to see that more and more with like all the states that legalize it. There's going to be an increase in violence in every single one of those states. Promise. Y'all don't believe me, but people don't believe what they don't pay attention to. But most people don't have any self-awareness, so they don't know what they're doing. I have so much self-awareness that it's nauseating, and it's really, really hard for me to continue to do things that I know are really destructive. Which is precisely why I don't have a smartphone. It's why I don't do um, social media the same way that everybody else does, you know, with fake book and Insta spam. I tried all that shit. It just made me miserable, so I just stopped, you know. And I'm really getting sick of people acting like they don't have an option. You always have options. Like, People think that this is the greatest country in the world because we're supposedly so free. We're so free that we choose to be slaves. <laughs> we're so free that, that we're slaves to technology. We're slaves to the government. We're slaves to our idols. We're slaves to our so-called ideology. We're slaves to this idea that we're victims. You know? We're slaves to our habits. We're slaves to time. You know? It's just... It's just so silly. Free country, my ass. I mean, I don't... I don't see it. I mean, I don't think people act very free. But, you know, look at this, look at this. Isn't that exciting? 
My dad fixed it. In a fit of rage, she fixed it. I probably shouldn't even say the word slave, you know, because I'm sure that's, that's going to be politically incorrect pretty soon. You know, you can't even use that word without, you know. apologizing profusely for something that you didn't even do. <laughs> but, yeah, man. I can't believe that the people make the choices that they make. I don't even know that they're making these choices. That's what's so sad about it. Look. <laughs> I never want to be a slave to my conveniences. I never want to be a slave to my commodities. I want to appreciate my commodities without feeling like I need them to survive. I wish that more people had my mindset. Mainly because, like, I know that I'm right about this stuff. And it's not just because of, of, of the, the fact that I'm, I don't know, just a lot more comfortable with myself and authentic and interesting. Uh, but, but the fact that, I mean, I just, I look around me and I, I look at how miserable everybody else is. And I look at all the pills that people are on and... They're just staring at a screen all the time. It's just, it's just sad. It's just sad. <laughs>